I'm fully convinced that a lot of y'all men don't like women. Y'all like little girls. Ooh. Can we be honest about the fact that 18, 17, 18, 16, because this, the age of consent is 16 in some states, people like to, you know, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 year old girls, young women. If a man 15, 20, 25 years older than you wants to be with you, it's not because he sees your soul, okay? Perfect example of this is Mr. Leonardo DiCaprio. This man is 40. Six. 46. He has never in his life dated somebody who was younger than the age of 25. This amazing Twitter user made a um, graph of all the women he's dated in his life. Here's his age as it goes up over his life. These are the ages of the women he's dated capping off at 25 when he was in his 40s and late 30s. First off, I would like to pay an homage to the one and only... <laughs> Now to address her point, basically she's trying to conflate a 16 year old underage girl with a 22 year old woman in an attempt to slander men for selecting to date younger women. The question is even phrased in an absurd manner. Why do men date barely legal women? Maybe she didn't get the memo, but the law is very black and white when it comes to age. You're either legal or you're not. She needs to stop using extrinsic terms to try and convolute what is clearly defined. Men are attracted to youth, beauty, and fertility. There's nothing wrong with that, but post-war women will always try to shame men for not preferring them. Ladies, if a man made a video with the question, why are women attracted to men who are rich, successful, and on their purpose? You would say that's an obtuse question. Well, now you know what men say when you women ask about their preferences. Moving on. If you are a younger girl who is very beautiful, be weary of older men. Not all men are like this, but a lot of them are. And if they're older than you, they see you as someone that is young. They see you as someone that they can cultivate, someone that they can teach stuff to. And literally what they want to do is exert control over you. And so be weary of these men because usually they are very insecure. And their goal is to exert control. That's all it's about. They don't really want you for you. They want you because you're young and they really want to control you. Be careful. In this woman's logic, older, more established men are insecure and want to control a younger woman. That makes about as much sense as an older woman dating younger men because younger men are secure and they have financial independence. Yeah, doesn't make much sense, does it? If you're going to try and manipulate younger women into not competing for dates with high value men, i.e. the men you want, then say something more believable. Men in their late 30s, 40s, and 50s are quite secure about themselves and usually have more disposable income. Men teaching young women from their experience and molding them to be pleasant company is not control. In fact, most men will not hold a young woman against her will and basically will accept when she wants to leave. This woman sounds like she just realized that after hitting the wall, those high value men are starting to look past her and looking at the newer models moving on. Why men date down? Now, before I tell you why, I just want to say not all men date down, but a lot of them do. And the reason is, a lot of guys feel like they have to be a provider. So by going for a girl who's maybe less intelligent or not as wealthy or not as successful, they feel more valuable. Now, this is something that's ingrained in society, but here's the thing. When someone is doing this purely for egotistical purposes, then the relationship is being set up to fail because it's becoming a transactional relationship instead of a transformational relationship. Do you guys agree that men date down? Let me know in the comments and tap that plus sign to follow for more. I love it when women completely morph anything men do into a negative appropriation. This woman basically labeled most men who use their own standards of attraction that differ from a woman's standards as egotistical. That is some pathetic weak sauce. Ladies, guess what? Men are not women. We are not attracted to the same things. Stop this witless point of view that categorizes anything men are attracted to as erroneous thought. Women are attracted to a man's status, ambition, and accomplishments. Men can easily be attracted to young women working as cashiers or as waitresses because we don't care about the same things you do. And to try to suggest that men are trying to make it a transaction 
transactional relationship is idiotic at best. Oh, and for those of you who are trying to figure out what exactly this dating expert meant by transformational relationship, according to any Tanasugarn PhD, link in the description, the definition is they are our most significant ones and resonate with who we are at our core. Some may call them soulmate. Ladies, here's a good reason you should really question the advice from these female dating experts. She literally claimed that a man dating down to your level cannot be your soulmate. I didn't make that up. Transactional. Her words, not mine. And I always thought transactional relationships were only with sugar babies. Who knew? If you agree or disagree with anything about this audit, please let us know in the comments. I'm going to leave this audit right here. I'll see all of you in the next episode.